a close-up PA view of upper mediastinum which is showing normal anatomy of the mediastinum in this area despite of the fact that patient is slightly rotated towards the right hand side you can see the medial end of right clavicle is a bit further away from the mid spine as compared to the medial end of left clavicle which shows that the patient is rotated towards the right hand side you can see air within the trachea as a black column which is dividing into two here you can see that trachea is slightly shifted towards the right hand side which is normal because of the arching of aorta uh, over the left main bronchus I want you to pay attention to this thin opaque line which is extending from the right lateral side of the trachea at the level of third thoracic vertebra this is first thoracic vertebra these are spinous processes one two three four this is first thoracic vertebra first rib is attached to it second thoracic vertebra third thoracic vertebra and on the right side of the trachea you can see a thin opaque line extending from here to the level of azicos vein this is right paratracheal stripe which is seen on around 95 percent of the chest x-rays right paratracheal stripe is somewhat curved line of soft tissue opacity few centimeters long and between three to four millimeter wide any more than that would indicate an abnormality it is composed of right lateral tracheal wall two layers of pleura visceral and parietal pleura of the right upper lobe of lung on the medial side of it and it may contain a very small amount of mediastinal fat it may not be visible in obese patients in case of certain pathologies as in paratracheal lymph node enlargement it can be deformed it can be widened or even obliterated the opacity is created because there is air on both sides of this collective tissue which is a comparatively dense tissue and is composed of tracheal wall on the right side as well as two layers of pleura and some mediastinal fat thank you very much